Welcome back to another video, ladies and gentlemen. We're back. October is back. Fantastic stuff. If we look at fear and greed right now, 48. Pretty good. Okay, if we look at ETFs, we're seeing $253 million come in. All right, that is a win for the bulls out there. All right, and if we're looking at the most important indicator here today, right, this indicator takes 60 of the most powerful Bitcoin on-chain and macro market metrics combined into a single machine learning something, right? 60 really good indicators for the on-chain, okay? Uh, it is still green, okay, even after last week. So uh, this is an incredibly bullish sign. Uh, one thing with Bitcoin right now is, uh, yes, the on-chain looks fantastic from this front, okay? So uh, do not sleep on this. We are also seeing the energy value for Bitcoin, right? This red line currently up at 86K. This is something that we should definitely watch because Bitcoin is often magnetized towards this red line. Line, all right, so if black is the price, red is the magnet, and we can see when it does get away from us, we love to absolutely bang it back up to there. Okay, so this is what we're looking at right now potential massive pump coming into Q4. This is fantastic. Let's see if we can get this going. Uh, liquidity heat map, we will get into the liquidity on the chart in a minute, but as of right now, guys. As of right now, uh, yes, there is some targets down here at 64K. We have had a bit of a pumper rumper this morning, okay? And we do have some targets up here uh, as high as potentially 66K. But I will warn you that we have just been going up since yesterday. So this is a sign that potentially we could pull back here if we lose certain trend lines, right? Uh, we did put some updates on Patreon earlier here for you guys. Uh, so feel free to check that out. It's completely free. One free Bitcoin update every weekday. And and the paid is only 10 bucks a month for altcoin updates. And that's been behaving fantastically over the past week here. All right. So uh, if I do just bring up the charts here, bring up the charts. Here we go. Oh, no camera, though. No camera. Let's just get that on. There we go. Uh, we can see that, uh, yes, we are smashing, smashing through this trend line again. This is a good sign. OK, obviously, we had that initial re rejection here uh, at the end of September. But after that period, yes, we are trying to get it back. And for us to recover or at least try to recover this quickly is another bullish sign. All right. I don't want to moon boy you guys up too much. OK, not too much. But I will say uh, that it's looking like this was a trap. OK. Okay, we can see we've got this beautiful, okay, we've got this beautiful Grogu candle, okay, the Darth Maul candle here uh, at this bottom in which we got an engulfing candle and then we just went straight up from there. So testing this bull market barrier here, we do need to get over this to reclaim our bull market status, but testing this right now after such a nice trap is a good sign, all right? It is a good sign uh, and it is something that is fantastic for the long term uh, and we have got over this kind of inverse parabolic curve that we saw previously we said hey if we can get over this and maintain over it it is a good sign so we got over it we retested down at those low levels and now we are beginning to bang it uh, there is still the chance at the end of today we end underneath this trend line and I'm not going to be too bullish here if we do end underneath this trend line about 63.8 it is a bad sign and is something that we should be expecting us to come back down again okay but if we are just looking at the market right now, we're looking at the raw data, we do have higher lows coming through. Okay, yes, we did get a lower low in the more recent term, but higher lows overall, that is fantastic. And uh, yes, even if we do want to come down and revisit 60K again, all right, then uh, as long as we make that higher low, it is, it's looking okay. It's looking okay out here, okay? Uh, besides that, yes, if we can maintain above this area, above this 64K zone, we will be over this trend line, which is a good sign. I I would still expect a retest of it again, but after that point, yes, we'll be looking to essentially just test all time highs from that point, right? Or at least 68K where this trend line is, and then we'll see what happens after that, right? Uh, if we are looking at trades right now, we are currently in one, all right? We are currently in one looking for this beautiful trade, okay? Uh, we can take profit at 1% here if it is uh, if it is applicable, okay? But as of right now, we are grinding through. We had the pullback, we tested the trend line, we tested the moving averages, 
and then from that point we did break the high so yes uh, there were some trades here i put this signal out on the patreon uh, when we are around this candle anyway pulling back and i said hey if we do get above this point then we will be looking for a long okay and we said the same thing here uh, coming through so fantastic stuff there we are back above the 15 minute volume weighted today tr band that is a huge sign if we can just get this little one percent in it'll be great in terms of my stop loss right now if we lose this 15 minute we lose this 60 minute at any point i will be looking to get out of this trade and i will be expecting a rejection for the rest of today all right that is my plan coming through Okay, where are we at? Five minutes for this video. Uh, but what I will say is, yes, we do have this measure move coming through uh, so far, right? So we have this wedge structure. Okay, it's not pretty. Okay, it's a very trappy market right now, but it is a wedge structure. And we should be expecting this measure move to play out. And it has done fantastically so far, all right? So yes, we will be expecting to potentially come up to about 64 65.4 here today uh, before rejection, but we're taking profit. We're keeping it safe at 1% here uh, and, and just watching it as it goes, right? So let's just see uh, if, I mean, I have taken a little bit of profit already because I am on VIP3, but uh, what I will say is, uh, yes, I mean, going below this entry point will be a worrying sign. We are pretty far away from this moving average on the four hour. So a pullback is something that we should be expecting soon. So we're gonna ride this up in the short term. And if it does wanna get to the take profit, we'll close out that trade. Uh, if it doesn't, then we'll just, we've already made the no loss scenario. So I will be looking to basically uh, lose this low at some point. So about 64.3 uh, for the more kind of scalpy trade that I'm in, okay? If we lose 64.3, then yes, I will be looking to close that trade. Take the profit I got and and run all right and run and wait for this retest to happen uh, but as of right now we are riding this uh, nothing is is really slowing down too much here uh, we are seeing that volume come up here and that's good it's a good sign for a move okay if that volume does get underneath these other volume moving averages it's a sign that we are in compression again and we are in sideways and just a little bit of proof of that we had uh, this move coming up here okay volume was above the moving averages then we lost it and then we began our pullback sideways trappy disgusting mess okay uh, and then what do you know volume came back up again on this little trap and then yes uh, we began that move towards the upside so yes fantastic stuff that's what we're looking at right here and uh, besides that yeah, not too much else to say. We can take a look at the broader scale of things here and take a look at the liquidation zones, heavy, heavy liquidations around this 58K zone. Um, there, there is still the possibility we get down there, but uh, yes, I'm not gonna be taking trades down this area because it is pretty nasty. It's pretty nasty right now and it could get pretty volatile. I'll be more looking for us to, if we do come down to basically reclaim certain levels, reclaim the volume weighted ATR band, and then uh, take a long from that point rather than trying to trade in this uh volatile mess. Uh, if you don't know what this indicator is, basically uh, what it is, it is um, if you were to 10x long at this level here, okay, it would have put this line in and this is where the 10x would be liquidated. Market makers, the people that control the markets, they make most of their money from liquidating people. Surprise, surprise. So they will be targeting these levels coming through. We do have some levels towards the upside on this thing though, right? So we're looking at 66.5, which we did already kind of target and a 68k as well uh, will be around that zone. So keep an eye on 68k here for a rejection obviously if we blast through here then i will be expecting a pullback um just based on the, the amount of liquidity that's been grabbed up here okay so that's going to be it from me have a fantastic day i will see you in the next video and be sure to give it a like give it a little comment and uh yeah join us in the telegram cheers